Guys, we want to continue with our taking off quantities of our staircase so that we finish on what we are not finished. Now, we want to look at what remained. We did part one of the formwork and the concrete works. So I want us to look at reinforcement, how we are going to take off quantities of reinforcement. Now, in our plan, we have the reinforcement. We've been given the reinforcement on the staircase. We have, if you look at this section B, we have 12 millimeters main bars spaced at 250 center to center. And then we have 10 millimeters mild steel distribution bars, two at every, every step. So I want us to concentrate on this reinforcement so that you can see how we are going to take off those quantities now we just go to the reinforcement so we start by getting the length so our 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 12 millimeter diameter bar this one here it runs on the string or the waist and then it's going to have a, a hook on this side and a and a hook on this side so if we can maybe restrict let's say going to run like that and then on the landing we are going to have a we are going to have a hook so this this length from here up to here we had gotten it when we were calculating the form works that was 1893.81 for the first flight now these laps here for us to get the laps it's 50 d where by d is the diameter of the of the reinforcement bar so tabulating that one we get it's 50 times 12 that gives us 600 millimeters now our length of this bar from this point going that way up to that point will be the length plus the hooks so that is 18 9 3.81 plus the hooks this is 600 and this is 600 that gives us 1200 so the total length will be 3900 and 3093.81 sorry for that now this is also going to apply for the second flight because the bars are the same the specifications are the same so our second flight here we also have a we also have a, a, a reinforcement bar going up like that so the the string the length was from this point up to that point was 22 80.35 and then we are going to add the hooks we've seen our hooks is 600 by 2 that is that is 8 uh, 1200 now let's add that one we get 3480.25 now let's calculate the number how many are they like how many do we have how many do we have for for this staircase for the first flight now we are told they are spaced at 250 center to center to center now our length so our we did the the the, the staircase wide was 1200 millimeters and then it was it was this concrete here it goes inside the inside the wall of the thickness of the wall so I have the thickness of the wall is 107 because the thickness of the wall is 215 so I have the thickness of the wall is 107.5 so if you add 1200 1200 plus 107.5 it's give it gives us 13 13 or 7.5 and then we divide by the spacing and then we add one so it means for our for our our staircase we are going to have seven of them one two three four five six seven seven of them so this is 1200 and then it's because it's entering inside the wall by half so that is why we have added one or 7.5 so those are seven of them but remember we have two flights we have this flight we have this flight the first one and the and the second one so when we multiply that by two we get that it is they are now going to be they are going to be 14 so we are going to have 14 14 of them now let's go to the distribution bars so our distribution bars we have two at every every step 
that is what we've been told we have to at every step so this one here we are told 10 millimeters miles the distribution bars two at every every step so it means every step here we have two of them here we have two here two here two here two here two here two here two, two, two upwards and the same applies to the second flight so our steps are eight we had done that one on the previous video and then we multiply by two it's because we have been told there are two we get that they are now how many 16. so 16 in the first flight we have 16 and in the second flight we have we have 16 so 16 by 2 that gives us 32 bars now let's find the length the length because now that the, that distribution bar is going to be like is going to be like that so let's get the the length of that bar so the length of the bar will be will be the 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 staircase was 13.075 wide and then we had hooks so the hooks are these ones here and in this case we are assuming the hooks to be 125 125 millimeters so 125 this is 125 and this side is 125 if you multiply by two that gives that uh, gives you 200 and 250 so 250 and then our 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 we did was 13.07.5 so if you add that one we are we get 15.55 15 point sorry 1557.55.5 millimeter so that is your is that is your length for the distribution bar so that is how you calculate your distribution bars guys and until the next video bye bye